All right, three days, 38 hours later, we finally made it here to Alice. About to start day one of pre-running here. Got three XRs, three of my best mates to ride with. This is, this is where it's gonna get, get fun. They got the cool, there's speed box. Oh, yeah, that is, lenses, you can that's like, 15 kilometers an hour. <laughs> making to do things that you otherwise wouldn't. He decided last year that he'd do it on XR, so Maddie came up and said it was a good time. Um, and then, I don't know, just bloody snowballed from there. And at some point in time it became, this is evident, this was gonna be the best way to go hang out with your mates for a few days. <laughs> go and race these old things down the, down the tracks. I always said I was too unfit and too slow and too whatever. I uh, didn't have enough money and all the other excuses you make, so now I've not ridden for five years. I'm gonna ride a bike that's 30 years old and still don't have any money or time, so <laughs> just crossed them all off at once. All right, we're pre-running today just to kind of get a feel for the track. I mean, it's not really gonna help us, to be honest. We're not gonna, definitely not fitness or anything, but just to kind of get around their head around, like, what's to come. It's been a year since I've been out here and pretty much, you know, couple of weeks since I've ridden this bike, so he's gonna test some shit, try out the steg peg, see if they're in the right position that we made, and yeah, just try to break these things. We'd rather break them today than race day. Hoping to get a good idea of uh, fuel economy on the bikes actually on the track, not just in trail riding kind of scenarios, and then see what stuff fails, I yeah, guess. Guess being older bikes, you kind of expect a few, a few dramas here and there, so, hopefully find those before race day and, and be able to fix them and have a have a clean run on race day. <laughs> now, what are we doing? We're looking through some old photos and someone threw one in the group chat of um, Ballard with his big dirty one. It was pretty much like that. He's, yeah. he's on point. Yeah. And then we're like, why not? On the XRs, let's all just grow them out. My, mine person, mine's for filtration <laughs> of the dust. What do they say? Hair cools you down. It does actually get air for the airflow and cools your body down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keeps you cool, cool, cool temp down. Flavor Maybe saver. Ballard, see. On the road carbs. <laughs> oh, I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know why. I mean, it's just pre-run day, but yeah, still haven't put a much put much uh, time in on these bikes, and we got a fair few cases to try and get done today. So a little bit nervous. Mustache will get you through, mate. That's right. Hey, there's yeah, ten percent skill, ninety percent mustache. Oh, what do you reckon? One kick? No chance. Seventy k's or so out of hours towards me. 
And um, yeah, it's heaps of fun. Tiny bit rougher than I remember it being last year, but yeah, speed on go, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> yeah, heaps of fun. with uh, plenty of fuel to spare, so I think everyone's was pretty happy with how things went. Yeah, day one, I think that's a wrap, is it? We've got uh, three successful pre-runs, I guess. We've got probably the biggest problem was small leak in one of them, but overall, I think they all look pretty good. So yesterday we pre-ran the first half of the track, up and back, and then now we've um, driven out to the halfway point and we're gonna pre-run the other half. Still like a basically two and a half hour drive up the track, up the road to get to the halfway point in the car with the trailer. So we're gonna camp out here tonight, and then in the morning maybe pre-run again a little bit, and then cruise back, get the bikes ready for the for race day. Yeah, day two, gearing up to pre-run the second half of the track. Um, see what that, that has in store. A uh, bit of rain, which was, Pretty unexpected. Um, yeah, contrast to last year, it's warm and raining. Last year it was freezing cold and bone dry. How's that stash holding up? Oh, it's the only thing keeping me going at this point. through a few mud bugs. Didn't you take, take it slow over the bumps? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we made it to Fink and yeah, Mitch's bike is cooked. So, His suspension oh, is like a pogo stick. I don't even, I don't know nothing about suspension, but oh, something's up with it. I don't know. Um, yeah, it is really, really muddy. We had to, I know it's like really flat down here, so it holds a lot of water and way wetter than what I thought, covered in mud. I'm actually more disappointed at my car than my bike at the moment. I don't think it's a mess. Uh, well, I felt the shocker started getting a bit crappy yesterday. I think it was when it was heating up in the afternoon on the way back. Um, and then, of course, totally forgot about it last night. Didn't really have a look at it. And then today it's just completely not doing anything. You should be able to spring a fair bit off. It's very springy. <laughs> But it just puts all the weight on the front end and just makes the 
front end is squirrely. There's no traction on the back, so it just feels like the clutch is slipping the whole time. Any, any, even corrugations on the service road, it was enough to make it feel like it was like just going backwards. So I don't know what we're gonna do now. Yeah, Pray. <laughs> Yeah, we need something to go wrong. It's gone way too smoothly. We're just going to have to probably run back to town, try and bribe someone to help him fix his old exit. Went well, started out with like nice kind of cool, bit wet. Wasn't muddy, the track was sick though, the sand was kind of real compact. And then on the way back, it sun come out and it cleared up nicely. Good fun, and then on the way back, we even stopped for a quick little piss break and then found this epic road gap. Just had a couple of runs of that and sent that over the over on the big girl. Went a bit long on the first one though, and nearly died, I instantly regretted doing that, but you get that. <laughs> uh, yeah, the shock seems to have lost its shocking. So we've um, I've hooked up with a guy who, funny enough, is from Vic, um, and actually someone I used to ride with back in an, another life. Uh, and he's going to have a crack at trying to make it work. So we've got another standard shock, and hopefully we can sort of use bits from that one to make one good one out of two crap ones so see how we go so we ended up we had to steal some parts off this one anyway like yep. the piston band in that one was all right but this one was disintegrated just yep. all the way in through the fucking yep. um the piston itself so yeah but uh it, it should make it down there now yep. <laughs> so that all right so we've got one good one theoretically and um, one even worse one. So yeah, apparently the um, one of the collars in here had disintegrated um, and then jammed up in the between the shims and the basically jammed all the piston up. So it was not doing anything other than working as a spring. So hopefully this will get us there and back. I think. Let's see how we go. Yep. So it's all done and just gonna fit the, the repaired shock back in and then um, get it all back together. Hopefully it'll be good. All right, so um, Mitch's old man, Russell Yates, has just arrived with the new old shock. Fingers crossed that works and we're gonna put him straight on the tools. All right, so day four, just wrapped up pre-running, and now we're just going over the bikes, fixing all those little things we're noticing during that, moving steg pegs forward, changing tyres and wheels. Mitch has fully rebuilt his whole shock, and yeah, just getting ready for race day. Just got it back together after changing the shock and the oil and everything else, and now all of a sudden, after this bike's been the best to start out of all of them, one kick, it's now got no spark, so. I don't know, something's... At least the shock's pretty good. The shock's yeah. good, yeah. It's not going to push it down the track. It's a good mountain bike at this stage. <laughs> it could be. I've chopped something here.
know what he's done, but he'll fix it. They always come good. Yeah. Or he might break something else. A bit more fucking he'll fix stress. nah, he'll fix one thing and then break something else. So he's fixed the shock, hopefully, and he's broken the engine. So now he's got a really cool looking mountain bike. Is it, mate? Suspension works good? I think so. Doesn't really matter at the moment though. <laughs> We're better off with stuff suspension and a bike that run. Well, I've still got no spark. No spark at all. Incorrect readings on the stator, which I'm getting no reading on. We should have a reading, which is a big problem. So, so that is unfixable at this point. I'm gonna do the same tests on Maddie's. Um, if you know that's running. <laughs> oh, I'm not. Mm -hmm. Nothing. All right, so Mitch's bike's cooked the stator on it. Apparently they go from time to time on those old things. But um, we've got to go to scrutineering now, so we're just going to fix it all together and make it look pretty and then roll it through scrutineering. And then we found um, in town a local farmer's got one of these old things lying around in his shed, not running. And we're hoping it's not the stator, so we're going to pull that out. And then, fingers crossed, that works. But we've got a plan B. If that doesn't work, we've got our mate Trev. He's running the MX store as we speak. And then he's jumping on a plane. He's going to fly up and land at 10 tomorrow, which would just be in time for prologue. So uh, if A doesn't work, B hopefully works. This lovely gentleman that just walked off here, just pulled the, pulled the side off his one that he had in the garage. Uh, theoretically this state is right and um, we'll test it now and then go back tonight and put it on and hopefully we get get some spark, get some um, action. action. All right, so we've got the stator installed. Now we've got to wait for the gasket glue to dry before we can kick it over. So fingers crossed, it's all good in the morning.